Hi everybody, I'm Charlie from Green Panic, your garden assistant. This video contains subtitles and you can enable them by clicking on the closed caption icon here. For other languages, take a look at the subtitle settings by clicking on the wheel here. If you like the project and want to help, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, click on the like if you find the video interesting, and feel free to let us know what you think, leaving a comment below. Today I'll show you how to install the water sensor and water pump modules. The modules I'll show you today are our beta test version, which is a bit different from the final design but operates the same way. Here is what a beta tester will receive. A water sensor which contains all the electronics and also some air sensors for temperature, humidity, air pressure and light. It comes with industrial grade EC and pH sensors so that you get accurate results even on long periods of time which is something the cheapest lab sensors cannot do. There will also be a 4-channel pump module to those pH minus, A and B nutrients. We provide 60 liters an hour pump equipped with a nutrient injector. We'll use it to mix the water tank and connect the solution output tube here so that it goes into water flow and is mixed quickly and uniformly. An input and output tube to inject the solutions, a tube and cable holder slash guide, a 12 volt power supply for the pump module, and a wireless smart plug to pause irrigation when dosages are made and some accessories. The first thing to do is to install the module. Screw the two wall mounts on a wall or a rigid board you have around. Now insert both modules in the order you want. The wall mounts are the same for the two devices. On the water sensor, plug the pH sensor, the EC sensor and the water temperature sensor. Those sensors are supplied with 5 meters cables, so don't hesitate to tie the extra length. Now take the Ethernet cable to plug both modules. Now plug the 12 volt power supply to the pump module. And last but not least, plug the USB power supply cable to the water sensor. Now plug your USB cable to your USB power supply. The power supply provided has three USB ports. Please do not plug any other USB on this power supply to avoid any electrical problem. PH and EC sensors must be placed in their floating part so that the sensitive elements of the sensors are in the water at all times. In this configuration, the first pump is used to pump water and raise the tube each time a dosage is made. The second one is for pH- and the two others are for A and B. You'll need to drill a 6mm hole in each bottle cap in order to insert the dosing tubes, just like this. The device is delivered with three solution tubes. Each tube has a check valve on one end. Insert the end that doesn't have the check valve into the cap with the check valve on the bottle side. Now take the three solution inlet tubes and connect those to pump two, three and four. This configuration is fixed for the beta but will be customizable through the app in the final version. Connect the input tube and output tube to the mix pump. The small one goes in the small hole and the big one goes into the big hole. Place the mix pump in your water tank. The pump can be left free to move as long as it's submerged so that it spreads the solution efficiently and so that the pump doesn't get damaged. Place the EC and pH sensor floater in your water tank. Take the suction cup hook, put all the tubes and cables in it, humidify the suction cup and stick it to the upper part on the side of your water tank. Take the solution I.O. tubes and plug the small one on the left connector, which is the input, and the big one on the right, which is the output. Plug the Wi-Fi power socket to your wall power socket and plug your irrigation pump on it. It will allow the system to pause your irrigation when a dosing occurs. We've also provided some power adapters for countries that are outside the EU standard. And this is all for now. You can remove the sensor cap, fill up your water tank, making sure your sensor floater is flat. Plug the water pump power supply and the mixer pump. I follow our app tutorial to enjoy water automation. Those devices are made for the beta test and the design will evolve for the released version. Like using quick connectors to connect the tubes with ease, a more polished sensor implementation, not using a dosing pump for watering cycles, improved ECPH sensor support, 
a unique power supply for several models and many more. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you got any questions, you can write them in the comment section. You can also visit our website and social networks to get the latest news. And you can subscribe to the newsletter so that you can be part of the product test program. See you next time. Bye.